Hey guys, what's up? It's Mr. Nishon Beats. Uh, a lot of you guys have been asking me how I get my audio visuals like that in my videos. Today I'm going to show you how you do it. Um, you will need the Adobe After Effects, so be sure to have that before you watch the video. Let go. <laughs> Okay, the audio visuals were created by a graphic designer known as Mo Craig. Um, his YouTube channel is in the link description below. The download to the template is also in the link description below. It should take you to this page right here. What you gotta do is click on download and it should download to your browser. Okay, before we get started, um, I just want to tell you that you will need Adobe After Effects, preferably CS4 or CS5. Um, okay, you have the folder right here. So what you're gonna do now is gonna we're gonna right click and extract here. Um, as you can see, you get this file. You want to double click on it. Um, there should be two folders in here: the font, um, which all you have to do is right click and install the font. Um, and you will get the template, which is what we're going to be using. Um, so what you, what I do is I go to Adobe After Effects. Then I go to File, Open Project, uh, and then then locate where the template is. Click on Open. This might come up, it doesn't matter, click OK. And now you should see this folder is over here. Um, what you need to do is find the song that you want. Um, I will go to get a beat. Yes. that you want and then you want to drag it to Adobe After Effects okay as you can see I just dragged it then you would want to uh, drag the song into the timeline and then you can either choose from default or the themes that they have in the um, template uh, let's say I would want something like um, Dark Force um, and as you can see, it should pop up. Let me see. There it is. Um, down here, you just you can put your name or uh, whatever, whoever did the song. Um, Solution Beats. Uh, the name of the song. Song name. pretty much set. Uh, make sure that it, the, the audio is moving. Um, then you want to go to composition, composition settings. And then you want to set how long the song is. I really don't know, I don't remember how, how long it is, but I'm just going to put four minutes. Then you want to click OK. So the video is only going to play for four minutes. Um, if you want to change anything, go to control, you got to be on control, um, effects, control, and now you can change the color if you wanted to. So let's say, I wanted the background color to be white or gray, something like that. And click on that, and now you can see it's somewhat gray. And you can basically mess with, mess with things. Let's see, you can move up. Uh, if I wanted to make this shorter, I can make it shorter. If I wanted to make it longer, I'll make it longer. Um, after all the editing is done, you go to composition again, make movie, and then down here you want to go to output, 
right here. Output modules. You want to click on that. You want to make sure that the audio output is checked. Uh, and then you want to change your um, your format to um, FLV, which is flash format. Um, it's better because it's less memory and it's, you can easily upload it to YouTube. Okay, now that you got that done, you just got to click on render and it should render the video. Uh, it depends on how fast or slow your computer is. Um, if you have a fast computer, it's going to render fast quickly. If you have a slow computer, it might take a while. So, yeah, it depends on how fast your computer is. You just click on render and it will start rendering. Um, I'm going to cancel this because I don't like how it really looks. So, I'm going to stop it. And that's pretty much how you do it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe for if you want beats. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.